Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. So today we got another laptop to take a look at. This one was sent to me by Acer. Uh, this one is a Nitro 5 according to the box. It lies within. So uh, we're going to see what lies within by uh, doing some thermal and acoustic testing on it like I normally do on these laptops because as you know I'm not a gamer so I could give two shits but uh, I do want to give you a little more informed decision about the product so we're going to do some thermal and acoustics on it and take a little look at this uh, laptop and see what it, uh, it's all about so let's cut the scene here let me get this unboxed and let's take a look at this Okay, before we get into it here, let's look at the specs on this machine that I am testing today. This is the Acer Nitro 5 AN 515-58-525P. It comes with, <coughs> excuse me, an Intel Core i5-12500H, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050, 8 gigs of DDR4 memory, 512 gig SSD and of course killer Wi-Fi. It retails as you can see $7.99 on Amazon. Um, now this is the model with the red keyboard. Now the red keyboard model, um, th there's actually a couple different models with like the, the the lit up keyboards. If you got the one that's got like the red keyboard, that's all you could do is just go red. But if it's like the white one, uh, that one you can have uh, all different kinds of RGB going on on it. But uh, that's the general specs on this. This is what we're we're looking at today. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, well take a look. All right, so I got it unboxed here and I set everything out on the uh, desktop here. Let's take a look at uh, actually what comes with it first before we get into it. Um, looks like we got a setup guide right here. A FCC declaration right there. This is kind of a sealed uh, envelope thing. Let's see what's in here. Let me get out the razor blade. And we'll see what this is. This. Okay. So we got some stickers going on here. That's the little Pac-Man one, like my son likes again. I, I, I that was on the last one. So it's the same ones that uh, I've seen before. Okay, and then uh, let's see. International travels warranty passport. Keep proof of purchase with this passport. I don't know what the hell that is. And some more bullshit. Anyway, so. Got a box right here that came with it. We got our power cable. Um, take this out. Four little screws. This is more than likely for a hard drive. That's usually how Acer is. What's this? Oh, look at this. They even include uh, the thing that you'll need to add an extra hard drive in there. Maybe I might add a hard drive in there. I, I don't know. We'll see as I go along here. It depends. Uh, this is... Not sure what this is. Almost like a lanyard looking thing. It looks like it's a little clip. Yep, yep it is. Got like a little clip thing there. Some little uh, kind of clip thing there they give you. And then here's the power supply itself. This power supply is... I can't read a damn thing here. Hold on here. Let's see what it says on here. I'm blind and old. Let me turn on my light here so I can read this. This is a, let's see, 180 watt power supply, 19.5 volts, 9.23 amps, 180 watts. So, not a very powerful power supply. Um, the, the last one I uh tested out that had like the uh, what was it an rtx 3050 like this one has actually came with uh what was it like a 200 and some watt power supply from acer i can't remember what right off hand but so this one's a little little less powerful uh even though the specs were pretty much the same let me let me go ahead and pack this up here so i don't forget it and put that back in here second guys sorry 
We'll set that off to the side there. Let that go. Okay, so now let's get into the laptop here and take a look and see what we got. Um, uh, starting with this side, you can see we got the RJ45 port right here. Uh, we got a USB-C headphone jack right there. Um, nothing up front. On this side, we got a couple more USB-C. And that's it. And on the back, we got an HDMI and a Thunderbolt. And, of course, the jack where our power goes. So, not too many um, things on this. Now, now, one thing I did notice about this, I do notice about this, is uh, it picks up fingerprints pretty quick. You can see, like, right down in here. Uh, looks a little oily just from my hands and my hands aren't oily at all, but I, it's just, but, uh, all right, let's open this up here. Uh, looking at the keyboard layout, let me, uh, let me, let me go right up above there so we can get a, oops, hold on here. Let me position this a little bit. So you can see this. Now the keys on this, now this isn't, um, powered on or anything like that. And so these keys are not lit up at the moment. But I understand they do change color. Now, this is pretty neat uh, without them being powered on that they colored this red. Um, if we look down here, I guess maybe you can kind of see it here, like on the, uh, the WASD keys and on the uh, arrow keys right there, a little bit redder even uh, around like the framing and stuff of it that you can see. Same thing with the uh, Acer button there. So this is uh, kind of a neat little red theme they got going on there. Um, but anyways, uh, let me let me get out the power supply here. I'm gonna power this on. Uh, I'm gonna do the initial setup, and and you know that's all bullshit. But uh, and then we'll do some thermal testing on this. One second here. Let me cut this scene. I'll be right back. All right. So I just had to show this. Um, before we get going here, I'm actually just doing like the initial setup and stuff on this. Um, let me switch to this camera here. Now, as you can see, I got the sound uh, decibel meter going right here. Let, let me shut up and let's take a look at this. Seventy six and a half decibels and what it's doing is it's doing a uh, firmware update BIOS flash. I guess uh, it was actually part of the updates here. Let's put it on this side and take a look at this side. Seventy six one there on that. Uh, setting it straight up here. And like I said, we haven't done any gaming testing or anything like that. We're just doing an update. Sixty-five one when you're looking at it straight on. Now you notice I have my uh, headset on, of course. Um, even with my headset on while I'm recording, you know, which kind of will muffle a little bit, I can really hear this, um, this thing just whirling up there. Uh, this thing's pretty loud. Uh, that's crazy. Like I said, I haven't done any testing either. It's just, we're just doing updates here. Let me shut up for a second. Yeah, I mean... How about the back here? All right, finally, calm down there. Uh, it looks like it's probably going to do a reboot now. Yeah, it's doing its reboot. So, okay, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you that real fast before I, we get going here. Um, right now, I'm just doing, like, all the system updates and uh, stuff like that on it. Um, get that out of the way first and then also uh, take out any extra software in here that's you know complete shit which there is some um, I seen some McAfee stuff in there 
Uh, let's see. Let me uh, actually, I, I suppose I could probably switch this here to this camera. Will this go? Let's sec just a second here to let you see this. There we go. Yeah, it was just a crazy amount of crap in here. Now, I'm going to have to make uh, several comparisons here to my other Acer. I have an Acer uh, Predator Helios 300 um, that, of course, you know, I did a video on, too. Now, on that one, uh, one thing that did happen, and we're going to see if it happens on this one, that one did thermal throttle uh, when I did the stress testing on it. Um, but... The, the noise level, the decibel level, wasn't too bad, even though it did throttle. Um, I'm not sure what to even expect from this one, since this is a cheaper unit, uh, and it's already pretty dang loud. Uh, as you can see here, let me switch the keyboard. Uh, we'll show you here. A whole bunch of crap loading up at startup there. Let's see if we can go into the control panel here. Oh, that's right. Control panel is like right under here. Windows tools. Control panel. Let's see. Programs and features. Yeah, I mean, just look at all that shit that is installed here. Acer Configuration Manager, Acer Jumpstart, App Explorer, Care Center, ExpressVPN, McAfee, Microsoft 365, Microsoft that, NVIDIA this, Planet 9 stub. I mean, I hate that they do this. I, you know, it, this is this one's even worse than the uh, my other Acer. Uh, so now I'm going to have to first, before I do anything at all, I'm going to have to clean all this shit up because you never know what kind of program that these OEMs have installed that's actually kind of slowing you down or taking some of your resources or something like that i want to give it a clean run when i do do this so yeah i'm definitely going to have to clean that up let's look at the task manager here see if that can kind of show us what's going on here look at this 59 percent of the memory being used 13 percent of the cpu i mean yeah what the hell what the hell so this, this is only an 8 gig laptop, uh, let me mention that as well. So, you know, we're, we're kind of limited on the memory. It probably could use a memory upgrade. Now you can see that both of our GPUs are showing up here. So our drivers were at least installed correctly. We got the RTX 3050 going on there, 8 gigs of RAM, and our CPU. Now, like I said, look at this right here, 61 percent memory usage. What the fuck? This is right out of the box. All I did on this was just do updates, and uh, I, I think we're done with our updates. I'm not sure yet. I, I, I still got to check that out, but yeah, I mean, that is all I've done, and this computer is running like that. That's just, you know, shame, shame, Acer. Shame, shame. Uh, anyways, let me, let me go ahead and cut this scene and finish what I was doing. I got to install Heaven on here. Uh, we got to install some Cinebench on here, and uh, then we'll take a look. Be right back. All right, so now that I got the bullshit uninstalled, um, I went ahead and started the test suite. Um, now, when I do the actual Cinebench score, I actually don't run the um, HW monitor uh, just because it kind of does affect the final score. But while I'm doing, like, the thermal testing, uh, of course, you know, that's when I'll run the HW monitor software. But uh, anyways, the thermal testing is usually done in Cinebench uh, because that's what's going to stress the CPU. Uh, the most. Anyways, uh, we're already 51 seconds into it. Um, looking at our screen here, you can see, uh, let me switch my keyboard and bring that up. Um, you can see under the max, it reached a 93C and we're just getting started. Right now it's at a value of like 91 on the package, uh, 89, whatever on the P core. But that did reach a thermal throttle. Um, only just, you know, a minute into it, it just right away started throttling, right? Like if you're watching it there, you can see how it'll bounce into the red there. That's a uh, throttling zone on this, uh, 92 degrees C. Um, so just like the, uh, other Acer, that one had, what is a core I seven that also throttled. Now, um, 
as this is doing that, let's let's take a look at our uh, sound decibels, which actually isn't too bad. Um, I you know I'm, I, obviously I'm not stressing this enough to really ra ramp up them fans. So I mean, <laughs> but let, let me let me get my camera here. And we'll point it down. Let me switch just a second here. We'll turn off that one. And I don't know if you can see it. I think, I think the uh, light's kind of blocking it here a little bit. Yeah, hold on a second here. So 59 decibels uh, is what it's running at right now while it's doing the Cinebench test. Much better than what it was when it was doing that BIOS update. Now, the BIOS update might have uh, defaulted to maximum fan because some of these will do that. So that might not be a very good indication of the uh, kind of noise that you would, this would normally put out. Um, let's, let's do this. We'll actually go into the Nitro software here. Nitro Sense is what it's called. Um, let me let me switch my keyboard here so you can see this. One second here. We'll flip that up there. And here we go. It's probably gonna take a little bit for this to load because I am stressing the uh, the computer right now. So you know, bear with me as as this is loading up here. It's taking a little bit of time, but we can actually see here. Um, what's going on? We can see the uh, RPM on our CPU fan is 3658, and on the GPU it's 4000. Now the temperature is here; it's showing 92 on that, and 55 on the GPU. Now we can actually go into performance mode, and let's see what happens here when we click that. Now you notice our temperature just jumped there up to 100 degrees. Um, let's look at that in, yep, 100 degrees right there. So we're running pretty dang hot. Uh, CPUs at 5,000 RPM. This one here is at 55. Let's, let's see if it, it maybe stabilizes and cools down a little bit. And uh, it doesn't look like it is, really. <laughs> but uh, checking out our decibel meter here, let me get my camera over here. And see what that's done for the noise level in this. One second here. Take that to switch it over. There we go. And let me block this so the sun's out of it. There we go. Or not the sun, but the light. So 68 decibels. And that's with it. Uh, from what I can tell, ramped all the way up. So, quieter than it was when it was doing the BIOS update. So, I guess that's kind of a good thing. Still, this thing is just kind of loud. I mean, you know, like I said, even with my, my ear things on, I can hear this. This thing is loud. Um, let's, let's, let's switch it to quiet mode while it's actually doing this test and, and see what happens. See if that changes the uh, temperatures here. You can see, you know, we're at 54 in the GPU, 100 degrees on the CPU we'll switch that to quiet mode now you can see the temperature actually dropped when we went down to quiet mode it went down to 92 our fans went to 3296 on the CPU and 4100 on the uh, GPU and our decibel meter let me shut up here and take a reading fifty six which which isn't too bad it's still a little you know a nice little hum going along there but it's not uh terrible let's see fan control has been disabled in quiet mode let's see we'll go back to default here and we'll hit the uh max button here and see what that does there we go there it ramped up and we'll look at that there's our readings now let me let me uh flip flip my uh, screen here so you can see it yourself we got 73 or 7,317 on the CPU and GPU is our max. Uh, that's where it's ramping up. Now, it does cool it down a lot better. Um, if you look at our thermals here, you can see that we're running, you know, 8990 on the CPU, which is, 
you know, cooler than what it was, and the GPU is even cooled down a little bit, but the noise level is just ridiculous. Let's uh, let's take a look reading here, and we'll see what we got. One second here. So 77.5, I mean, it's getting close to that 80 decibel mark uh, cranked up all the way on max. Um, I think this is one of those that, uh, one second here, would would probably be best just uh, leave it at auto on default. And I think uh, we'd probably be running best. But yeah, it's it's it, what concerns me most is this throttling on this uh, right out of the box at the default settings. Um, you almost have to put it like into performance mode or uh, max mode or whatever on the fan, at least adjust the fan curves here. Um, you can do that like with a custom setting right here too uh, to keep this a little cooler while you're gaming. Uh, but, you know, of course, the sacrifice to that is, is you're going to get a lot of noise. I don't know if... Uh, if a uh, cooling pad would help more to bring down the noise levels. Tell you what, let me uh, pause this video. I'm going to go get a cooling pad. I think I got one out in the other room. And we'll put that on there, which is going to add a little more, you know, noise to it from the cooling pad. But it should hopefully uh, reduce some of the noise that's down here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a different um, reading here on that. One second. Well, I guess strike the cooling pad idea. I couldn't find the dang thing. I don't know where it went to. I'm thinking maybe one of the kids have got it in their room, but uh, I ain't going to bug them. It's it's nothing really important anyways. But uh, at least we do see some of the uh, initial readings that we get just running uh, Cinebench on this. Let's see actually how far we've gotten with Cinebench. Is it even done yet? It's probably still going. Oh, yeah. Give us a score, score of... Uh, 12,970 and uh, like I said when I run the actuals on like the Cinebench and Heaven um, I'll do it without the I'll do it once with the thermals running so I can get the reading on the stress part of it but then when I want the actual numbers on it I'll do it without the uh, any extra crap running so I'm going to go ahead and cut this and do my Cinebench and Heaven benchmarks and uh, we'll, we'll see what this is doing. One second here. <clears throat> okay, so looking at our heaven benchmark, uh, as you can see, it's it's uh, almost at, to its final scene. Uh, I'm looking in the upper right-hand corner there at the temperature on the GPU. Um, as you can see, that's running at 75C. Um, also running up there pretty hot, pretty hot. Uh but, you know, the, the decibel levels aren't too bad. You know, I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to run a, a, another stress test on this when these are done. And I'm going to change the uh, fan profile in it and see what kind of difference that makes. So, anyways, looking at heaven here. Let's, uh, let, me, let me switch that here. Uh, as you can see, we got 123 frames a second there. Uh, minimum of 10, maximum of 252. Let me switch my keyboard here so I have that. We'll go ahead and save that to the desktop. Okay, close that up and quit that out. And uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take a look at what I got on Cinebench. Now, again, like I said... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this suite again just because um, I did notice that there was some differences in, um, okay, here we go. Like looking at our multi-core, you can see it scored a 12,940. Now, when I ran it uh, before and I actually had some other stuff running, I actually got a higher score of 12,970. It was a little bit higher. But then remember, I was cooling it a little bit more. Now, when I ran it, uh, like this, um, I didn't touch any of the settings. I left it all at default for the 10 minutes to see what the final score was. And uh, like I said, we're, we're looking at 
12,940 there without touching anything. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the Cinebench suite again. But this time I'm going to ramp it up in the uh, software here uh, before I do it under NitroSense. And uh, we'll set it to max so that it's always staying cool um like that so we'll pump that sucker up to 7500 rpm and uh then we'll go ahead and do our multi uh test again here and uh see if we get a different reading this time see if we get something a little bit higher see if that's uh, affecting it any so let me go ahead and uh let this run for 10 minutes and i'll come back and see what kind of changes we got by ramping up those fans all right, so looking at our new Cinebench score um, with the fans ramped up the entire time while it was running the suite, uh, we can see it made a hell of a difference. Uh, we got 13,788, uh, almost 1,000 points higher than the 12,940. And, and, and that's the difference that that thermal throttling can make. Uh, you know, that's why you want to have something that's going to run you know cool like that so you don't get that throttling um crazy what a difference that was uh let me let me switch here and close this up um it's it's still ramped up while it's ramped up i'm going to go ahead and open up heaven and i'm going to actually run heaven one more time too also ramped up um just to see what kind of um uh, of uh setting our what we're going to get there um, I don't really expect the FPS and stuff to change, but you can see, look at, let me hit F9 here, um, up in the corner there, it might be a little hard to read on the screen there, but it's running at, you know, 51, 52 C on the GPU. So the GPU is, you know, clearly running a lot cooler than what it was before. What was it before? Like 75 C, I think it was. Uh, when I tested it at default settings. So let me go ahead and let the heaven benchmark finish up here. And uh, we'll come back when that's done. And we'll look at the final on the heaven with the fans ramped up. Okay, we're just finishing up here on the uh, heaven benchmark again. Uh, it's pretty much maintained about, oh, let's see, what's it? It's 80 C right now. Or no, 60 C right now. Um, I seen a peak at like 74, 75 C. Um, our scores on here didn't change too much. Let me, um, let's see, close that up so you can look at this. This is the original that I did there it was 123.1 frames a second with a max of 252. You can see with the new readings, with the fans ramped up all the way the entire time, it changed ever so slightly uh 126 frames uh with 255 max nothing nothing to write home to mom about of course um so ramping up the fans in this isn't going to do too much for you except for uh it of course you know keep the gpu a little bit cooler here um let me go ahead and quit this real quick here Close this up and open up the uh, nitro sense here. And we'll just set this back to auto and uh, let that go back down to normal. Um, so I guess my conclusion here is uh, if you're a casual gamer, um, I think this laptop would be fine for you. I mean, it's got a, you know, a pretty decent price, you know, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks. Not bad. You know, if you're the kind of person that, you know, you load your steam and then you load your games and then you start your game and go, then, you know, you're going to be fine. Um, but if you're the kind of person that wants to get every last inkling of, uh, FPS out of your games, um, this probably isn't going to be the laptop for you. I mean, it, you, you can squeeze more out of it as, as you've seen me do, but the cost to that is you're going to ramp those fans up to keep it cool, to get that extra performance out of it. Now, I don't particularly care for that. I mean, you're looking at 7,000 RPMs. Could you imagine 
day in and day out, you're playing and, and having to ramp that shit up every time you play. I mean, maybe you're, you're, you'll, you know, the noise won't bother you, but consider this. That fan is going to wear down a lot quicker having to spin like that constantly at that speed that I really don't see the fans in this lasting for very long uh, if you're trying to uh, use it as a more of a performance-based laptop. Um, I think it would be a great casual gaming laptop uh, for that. I, th I think it's great. You know, it's got some pretty cool features here, you know, like the uh, the uh, keyboard here that turns red and, and, and what have you. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of lacking a little bit here in... Um, other places that I, I they they really kind of should have improved on that uh, cooling a little bit more. Not so much the noise. I think people can get used to the noise, but the amount of uh, RPMs that it takes to cool the uh, the uh, GPU and CPU, I, I, I think is is a little little too high for uh, my blood. <laughs> anyway, you know. Uh, Anyways, so that's going to be the conclusion of this one, guys. Uh, this, again, is the uh, Acer Nitro 5. Uh, I want to thank Acer for sending this over to me for testing and uh, bullshitting around on. And, uh, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video, uh, whatever that is, whenever that's going to be. So I will talk to you guys later. See you around, and bye-bye.